Well, our friends from Imagination Station are here, and today we're talking about surface tension. Surface tension makes us all tense. So joining us now with more extreme science is Jessie Hawkins. Hi, Jessie. Hi. I know, and she, you know, what was so tension filled about this is that somehow our crews got this entire <laughs> The table over here within the commercial break and didn't spill anything, which I think they is so cool. Job. They did, so hence to the crew, that was wonderful. <laughs> so when we talk about surface tension, what exactly are we <laughs> referring to besides tense surfaces? Well, have you ever seen? <laughs> well, have you ever of seen one of, those, one of those bugs that kind of floats on the water? Yes. It kind of looks like it's walking on water. Yeah. Or um, even just the fact that raindrops are round, all of those things have to do with surface tension. What's actually going on is those water molecules are sticking together real tight. Um, okay. And because they stick together, it actually creates something that's kind of like a skin over the surface of the water. Yeah, you had to wonder how those little bugs crawl around I there. Know, it's, it's you didn't cool. bring any bugs, did you? No I bugs. just had to ask that. No <laughs> bugs. All, of all times to bring bugs. <laughs> all right, so you've got some different uh, kind of liquids here. Yeah, so we're going to start with this one. It's just regular water. And mm -hmm. I have some powder here. And this powder, it's super, super light. And it's actually so light, it's just going to float right on the top of my water right here. We're going to cover the surface of it. Now what I'm going to need you to do is, I need you to take this dish soap right here. Take okay. my little pipette. Your little pipette? Yep. Get some dish soap in there and okay. just very, very carefully put one tiny drop right in the center. Just one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Check that out. Look at that. All right, so that's kind of what happens when you have like chocolate, uh, I'm thinking of like, you know, hot chocolate mix and things like that. <laughs> well, so what actually yeah. happened was when you put that dish soap in there, it lowered the surface tension in that skin I was talking about. Yeah. It kind of drew back and pulled the powder along with it. Very so that surface cool. tension is a lot lower now than it was before, but we have kind of a cool like starburst kind oh, of pattern going that on That is there. really pretty. How does it do on greasy dishes? <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> Should work pretty well. Not bad, yeah. All right, another thing um, that can be tried at home, all these things are really, really simple and um, can be tried at home and but we have safe. a little a little boat that we've created here with our little Aww, imagination station logo so go ahead and just float that real gently in our beautiful blue lake of and water oh, is it right. floating yep, yeah it's doing is. great okay. all right so now you're gonna go ahead and take this dish soap again now you've got to be real careful once again and put one tiny little drop right in that little hole in the back of our boat okay I got the I've got to hit the without my glass Ooh, Ooh. look at that how cool Check it out, oh, and the and boat just goes. So if you neat. try it again, though, it doesn't. It doesn't really go again because once you've lowered <laughs> that surface tension, it's already done. It oh. doesn't go anymore. But when you did that, just like it happened over here, that skin pulled back mm -hmm. and actually pulled the boat along with it across the surface of the water. But this is something that can um, kids can create at home, just using a little twist tie from bread or bagels. Oh, let's um, try that one. You can make a little boat. See, it's what I'm getting is ideas on how my kids will help with the dishes. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if this is going to work because we've already lowered the surface tension of the water. Try it again. <laughs> It's kind oh, of a one-time deal. Oh, well, okay. Well, that'll get. All right, but we do one. have one more. So why don't we try oh, this? Oh, I'm one? sorry. I didn't mean to like make that look bad. I just <laughs> wondered. If, I'm looking for ideas, as I said, to get my kids <laughs> doing the dishes. So, all right. All right. So we're actually done with the iPad for <laughs> right now. Down. So we're going to move on to something a little bit different. We've had water over here. Now we have some milk. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the reason mm -hmm. that dish detergent works as dish detergent is because not only does it stick to the water, it also sticks to fat molecules. And milk is a combination of fat globules <clears throat> and proteins. Okay. Yes. So we're going to try this. So why don't you go ahead and grab some food coloring. Okay. I'm going to grab one as well. Just go ahead and put a, kind of a bunch of dots right in the center, right next to mine. We're going to do all the colors, so why don't you grab that last one. Oh shoot. Yep. I, was I supposed okay. to do that? It's okay. That? okay. Just okay. real careful Ooh, look right how in pretty. the middle. Is this low fat or skim or 2% or regular? Does <laughs> it's it actually matter? whole milk, I think. Is I it whole milk? It matters. Look how pretty but, that is. All right, That's but gorgeous. we're going to make it look even prettier. So go ahead and take my Q-tip, right? You can set that down. Dip uh -huh. that in the, in the dish soap and right. just stick it right down in the center of the color. Oh, oh look how that pretty. Out. Do it again. Follow oh, that I color can do around. this again? Oh, that yeah, is I'll cool. Help you. Look at that. Oh, you just got the color shooting around. That is really neat. Yeah. All right, but what's happening is, can you see that unlike the water, <laughs> it continues to churn over here. Yes, of course. It's There's waves. It's turbulence. But what's going on is not only is it sticking to the water, it's also sticking to the fat molecule. So it's kind of churning up the milk in there, which makes our colors kind of go crazy. Okay. It's kind of that kinda is psychedelic. Cool. That is very psychedelic. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that's one that you can do more than once. I like that. So yeah, a couple that's times. probably whole milk, you said. Yeah, I think so. The more fat, the better. Yep. <laughs> Which was Basically. always what we say around here. So, <laughs> And this is all part of uh, the latest uh, 
uh, exhibit that you have there that is really fun, Mindbender Mansion. Well, it's, it's, you could check this out along with that. Yeah, we do have our new traveling exhibit. It's, we've had it for a couple weeks. People have really been liking it, and we're going to have it till the end of April, so we should definitely come check it out. All right, this is fun. I just ticked. I can't wait to try and get them. You know, if I don't tell the kids that you can only do it once, they'll keep trying, and the dishes <laughs> will all be done, right? Thank Absolutely. you so much. All right.